Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and today I'm back with a fun interactive card. I will be creating one wheel card where you actually have to rotate the wheel to reveal the whole sentiment. So I'm starting with stamping all the images that I will be using for my little scene on top of the card and I went with a new stamp set by my favorite things. This is the over the moon and uh, you will find links down below to everything I'm using just like always. So I stamped uh, three of the ship, the moon, as well as a few of the stars and also a little fence. I did a very basic coloring with my alcohol markers and uh, I used the matching dies to cut out everything. Now I'm going to create my background. I have a panel here which is four and a quarter by five and a half and it is going to be my card front. So I'm going to add some distress oxide ink there and I want to create a night sky. Notice that I don't load my foam with uh, too much ink. I like to add thin layers of color and build them up as I go. I find that this technique works better for me in terms of blending the colors together. And since I need to ground my animals somehow, I am creating a little hill here. I am uh, just mixing a couple of colors, again Distress Oxide ink, and these are Mode Loan and Pine Needles. I'm going to use the dye that comes in the set along with the rest of the dyes to cut out a little hill. And then I will uh, stick that on top of my background. And once I have my background ready, I need to do a little bit of planning. I will just place uh, all the elements on top of my card and move them around until I'm happy with the placement so I know exactly where I need to cut out the window for the sentiment and where the wheel is going to go. So these are the dies from the Peekaboo wheel die set and uh, one of them cuts out a little slit for the finger. There are also a couple of uh, speech bubbles and of course the die that cuts out the wheel. So I already cut out the wheel, I'm going to place it on top just temporarily. So I am going to place things making sure that uh, I will end up covering up the brad that I will be using with one of uh, my sheep. And I'm not going to use one of the speech bubbles from the wheel set, instead I'm going to use this larger one since my sentiment is kind of bigger. So after playing around a little bit, I'm happy with the placement as it is now, so I will remove all the pieces and just secure the little uh, die that cuts out the notch for the wheel with some purple tape. And since I have the wheel on top, I am going to make the hole as well, so that I know where this is going to fall exactly. And then I can run this panel through my big shot to cut out the notch as well as the window. And here is how the front panel is looking. Now I will use a tiny little brad to secure the wheel at the back of my panel. When you secure the legs of the brad at the back, make sure that you don't uh, place them too tight. You need this brad to be quite loose, so the wheel is going to spin easily. So the mechanism is ready now, the difficult part is done, although it wasn't difficult at all. Now all I have to do is to put together my little scene as well as stamp the sentiment. Now if you are brave enough you can just stamp the sentiment through that window. I am going to do some masking on the sentiment so I didn't want to make a mess on my front panel. This is why I'm using a pencil to just draw where uh, this uh, sentiment is going to fall. I'm going to do that three times and then remove the wheel. It is quite easy since I used just a brush to secure everything. Now in the same stamp set there is a sentiment that says you make my dreams sweeter which I think matches perfectly the rest of my scene and I uh, am doing some masking so that I can break this phrase in three parts. So the first one is going to be you make then I will go with uh, my dreams and the last part is sweeter. And I already have the pencil lines on the wheel so I know exactly where I need to stamp. Make sure that uh, you erase any pencil marks and then it is time to put everything back together. I absolutely love interactive cards, both spinner cards and wheel cards as well as shaker cards and I think they make the recipients always happy. Now I have this tiny little stamp set which is called Interactive Labels and it has all sorts of uh, little um, 
signs as well as words that are perfect for interactive cards. In this case, I'm just using a little arrow to show the direction of where you need to turn the wheel. But in this little stamp set, there are also other options. So instead of an arrow, we can also stamp spin or turn. So many different options there. So now I will create my little scene where I'm going to stick down all the elements that I have created and cut out in the beginning. And for that I'm using some foam squares at the back to add a little bit of dimension. Notice that I'm going to stick some of the shape coming out of uh, the main panel. Then I will use my scissors to cut off the excess. And that's just because I like to have elements coming out of the panel because it creates uh, the illusion that there is uh, more going on outside of what you see. Now I'm going to add some dots of uh, white glue and then on top I'm going to stick the little stars that I have already cut out. And this is where I realized that I forgot to stick down the moon that I have already colored and cut out. So I'm just going to remove one of the stars, place the moon there instead and my front panel is ready. I added foam tape at the back making sure that I don't touch any of the wheel so that it spins nicely and I'm going to stick that on top of a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half. And here is a little detail that I like to do always on my uh, spinner cards. I like to use the tab that I have cut out and place it underneath the wheel on uh, the base of my card. So this way I am going to create a little background and the wheel is going to stand out a little bit more. And here is a close-up look on the wheel card that I created for today where you can see the message revealed. I think it's really cute and adorable and I had so much fun creating it. Thank you all so much for watching today. I hope you had fun that you got inspired to create some interactive cards. Here are some close-up photos on the card and don't forget that just like always you will find a full list of all the supplies that I used down below in the description area as well as on my blog. Thank you all so much for visiting today and have a lovely day.